Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Jamie Beth. Today we are going to do a fall inspired look. So a quick and easy fall inspired look using the brand new Tati Beauty palette. I just purchased this palette and it came in the mail about a week ago. I have tried it out already and I absolutely love it. I'm not going to get into the palette itself too much in this video because you are going to see it in a upcoming favorite palettes video. Um, I do absolutely love this palette. I do think that it is worth every penny spent. Um, I do believe currently it is out of stock, but they are going to be restocking it. Um, in December. So again, I'll talk more about that in my next video, but we are going to go ahead and do a fall inspired look using this gorgeous palette. Now here is the palette itself. There are a whole bunch of different type of shades and shadows and glimmers and shimmers and metallics and everything. So we are going to start off our look using the um, Aura row and that is the row right here and we're going to use this shade and we're just going to put this all over our lid. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and we are just going to pack that on our lid right away. And get that on. Oh, I should add that, um, as you can see, I have done the base part of my makeup. I have my foundation concealer powder. I did put a little bit of powder and concealer on my eyelids um, as well as my eyebrows. So um, we are just going to focus on the eye today. Um, and I do think I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I have you zoomed in a little bit more so that you can see exactly what I'm about to do. Now we're going to move on to the row Soothe, and that is this bottom shade right here. All of these bottom shades are matte shades, so we are going to go ahead and put Soothe in our crease area. And I'm just using the same brush that I used to put on that um, matte aura shade. And we're going to go ahead and get into our crease with the shade Soothe. And as you can see, these colors are so beautifully pigmented. I absolutely love this palette. Again, I'm going to discuss this palette a little bit more in my next video. We are just going to focus on doing a um, eyeshadow look today. So I am just getting this shade in my crease and that is all that I'm doing. And any leftover um, product, I'm going to kind of buff out more towards my brow to kind of um, get rid of any harsh lines that I created when I put on that shade initially. So that shade is on and looks gorgeous. This is a really, really beautiful transition shade. We are going to move a couple rows down to Ritual and it is this shade right here. And we're going to put that one on the outer corner of our eye and kind of work in towards our lid a little bit with that. And then any excess shadow I have on my brush, I'm going to kind of buff that upwards so that it kind of just blends well with the transition shade that we applied. So I'm going to stick with my one little fluffy brush and we're going to dip into that shade and get that on our eye. I'm going to take another blending brush. I'm going to dip back into this Soothe color and I'm just going to go above um, where I, above my crease a little bit with that color and kind of blend the two colors together. Okay, that looks good. Now we are going to dip into one of these gorgeous um, metallic shades. And we are going to use, I think we're going to go stick with the ritual row here. So we are going to stick with this row right here. This is ritual. And we're just going to kind of move up to this metallic shade right here. I'm going to rub that on my finger and dab that on my eyelid. Okay, now that that beautiful metallic shade is on our eye, we are going to move into a glitter shade and we are going to go again in the row ritual 
but we're going to move to this top glitter shade. Now I do have to make a point um, to tell you guys this is actual glitter. So you're not necessarily supposed to put glitter on your eye or anywhere near your eye because you can um, take the chance of scratching your eye um, and we don't really want to do that. So when you are working with pressed glitters, please, please be very, very careful so that you don't get that into your eye and cause any damage. So I just wanted to give you guys that quick little tidbit. Um, be very, very, very careful when working with these types of shadows. Oh, there we go we have that on doesn't that look stunning jeez oh i love this so what we're going to do now i just want to like brighten that up just a tad so we are going to move to the row aura so in the rows here we're going to go to this row right here and we're going to use this shade right here we're just going to press our finger into that and we're going to use this to kind of just brighten up this look just a tad And I'm kind of just going up the middle where both of those and the darker shade meets the glitter shade. And we're just going to add a little bit more glitter to our eye. So now what I'm going to do is go back and take my blending brush and dip it back into the shade ritual right here. And we're going to go ahead and darken up that corner just a little bit more. And kind of just make sure these blend into each other a little bit so there isn't like a, like a harsh straight line going down your eye. Now we're going to take a little small flat smudger brush. We are going to dip into that shade Soothe and we're going to put that along our lower lash line. And now I'm going to take that same little smudger brush. We're going to go into the shade Ritual right here, this dark chocolate shade, and we're going to um, put that on the outer corner here of our eye, along the lower lash line, but in the outer corner area. And just kind of darken that up a little bit. So everything looks kind of like it runs together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go off camera, put some liner on and some mascara, and we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about this look. I'll be right back. So here is the final look and I have to say I absolutely love this look. I love these colors. I think these colors will look good on everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm so excited about um, Tati and her brand new palette. I will talk more about this palette in um, the next video when I talk about my favorite palettes. Um, but I am so excited to finally have this palette. Um, and to um, have done a look for you with it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already, as well as the little notification bell next to it to be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye!